We were all looking for something to fight for or fight against. The whole punk thing was not about having money, it was not about having possessions, it was not about labels. Punk broke down that fourth wall that said, I'm the star and you're the fan. It was all inclusive, man. In the late 70s, I was running a shop on the King's Road, Chelsea, called Acme Attractions. And in those days, on the King's Road, there was two hip shops, my shop, Acme Attractions, and Vivian and Malcolm's shop, which is further down the road, which was called Sex back then. Came to London, early 77, I'd just become 17, thinking I'd dye my hair orange and I'll make millions of mates. And of course, I didn't. Went straight to Vivian's shop and bought me bondage trousers. You know, used to used to sell to all the King's Road shops and uh, um, you know stuff that was kind of made into punk clothing and stuff. We would sell original stuff to. My shop had a better soundtrack. Vivian probably had better clothes, but I was playing dub reggae downstairs. They became like hip clubs, meeting places for like-minded people, and all the kind of pissed-off white kids would move between these two shops. They could see the rebel in us and we could see the rebel in them, so there was like a mutual respect. I was already well pissed off because I was black, first generation British born black, so I was having a tough time. But at least I had a soundtrack to ease, ease my pain, which was reggae, which was kind of very anti-establishment back in those days. Well, it was an interesting time, the 70s, when you know, there was a lot of unemployment and, you know, ridiculous interest rates and so on and so forth, and Thatcher was in power. And... Rise of the National Front, three day a week, and as Johnny Rotten so eloquently put it, a feeling of no future. England was a bit down at the time. A lot of striking, a lot of, it was quite depressed. The whole thing of young people expressing themselves through music and clothes it kind of came out of the whole English class system, because for many of us, the only way we could attain some kind of identity or status was through the music we consumed or the clothes that we wore. And punk, in a way, was, was, was their way of, 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 you know, saying, hey, you know, what about us, as it were? Popular music of the time was a million miles away from the feeling of the vibe on the street. So they set about creating a soundtrack that was relevant to their situation, that dealt with Things like, well, you know, things like how we're going to live and furthermore, how we're going to do it together. So the punk and kind of black community and Indian communities started locking together for some camaraderie. In the grassroots levels, a lot of bonds were made because we were kind of social outcasts, the black and the young white kids, and that threw us together. You know, we kind of found some kind of common bond and a common enemy. And indeed, a lot of the musical messages that came out of reggae translated perfectly to the streets of London. You know, in Jamaica, we're saying, chant down Babylon. In England, the Pistols are singing anarchy in the UK. You know what I mean? It was the same kind of energy, the same anger. You know, just destroy the whole kind of idea of, of what clothing had been about before and mess with the music and you know it was it was it was all like DIY it was just it was incredibly exciting during the punk times we were turning each other on through understanding our differences not by trying to be the same punk was the last great movement that was not about having money it was not about uh, having possessions it was not about labels Particularly. It was just a, 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 an expression of freedom and, and, and revolt and dissatisfaction. I think those problems still exist. They've just been transposed to other people, maybe to people that are not of colour, maybe to you know, the Eastern Europeans that are trying to get work here, or the Muslims that are being demonised by the media. I think there's plenty to be angry and active about. It was the attitude more than the outfit half the time. It ain't this weird thing that happened in the late 70s with mohawks and safety pins and all fuck you. It has a heritage and a lineage that predates that by hundreds if not thousands of years. 
you know, that punk rock isn't something to look back on. It's something to look forward to. People really need to understand that.